What is up guys, it's Kev Strength here and welcome to the new year. Um, I've been very excited to post a new YouTube video. I haven't been posting as much because I'm finishing up this diet and I just wanted to lock in mentally without having to place a camera down and you know record my workouts or you know record my Instagram things. Uh, to me, I love just coming in, headphones or not, and just killing my workout without anyone being here, without anyone seeing it, and especially without sometimes, you know, a camera. Um, it kind of sucks when you're your own video guy because you have to set it up every set, every workout, and it kind of takes away from my focus sometimes, but I'm very excited to make today's arm day video for you guys because this is our last week of the cut, and it's kind of bittersweet because one, I, I feel really good, I feel very lean. Uh, but number two, the, way, the reason it's bitter is just because, um, I don't know, I, I wanna compete and um, I'm kinda just nervous to compete. Um, I guess you could say I could be confident in a way where I can win a natural pro card, but to me, I feel like there's no reason in, I don't know, achieving that unless I'm gonna do something with that. Um, I take longevity in this natural bodybuilding sport very seriously and I think you know you have to take that time to put on the mass and size in order to earn what's yours right so I think this um, cut will end probably end of this week and then I'll be able to finally show you guys what I'm really looking like under here and after that I'm going to be doing a off season with my coach Steve Nabel if you guys know him uh, very great guy by the way um, he's very, he cares a lot about me and he, he really, he has a lot of patience. Uh, let's just say that. So we're going to begin today's arm workout with a bit of a tricep movement. I feel like when I activate my triceps first, um, it helps me carry on to my biceps a lot more. I just feel the connection a lot. So we're going to warm up. Um, one set usually does it for me, especially on the arm day. Um, and as you can see, I'm very bundled up right now. I'm wearing my controlled insanity pants. These are coming soon. Oh my God. I don't even want to show you guys the other color colorway because I want to save it as a surprise. But um, I have a couple of my athletes coming down on the 13th of January. And it's gonna be really fucking crazy. We're gonna we're gonna destroy it down here. And I'm very excited to show you guys. But like I said on this first working set, I'm at warm-up set. You know, that all I only need one warm up. <clears throat> um, always stretch before your workouts. That's one thing. I get a lot of messages about, uh, "Do you stretch?" Absolutely, I stretch. Um, don't get hurt. <laughs> don't get hurt. But um, we're gonna work on 200 pounds, which is almost a full stack here. Not quite yet. Um, when I'm in my off season, you guys can see I'm almost maxing out like every machine uh, down here. So in my off season, it's gonna be a little rough to continue working out down here just because uh, as much as I love the old school vibes here and just being alone, um, there's this gym in Long Island called Bev's and they have a lot of weight there and a lot of machines. And I think in terms of being the best bodybuilder I could possibly be, that gym is just better for me. Um, so on certain days, I'm gonna be going to that gym and I'll take you guys with me. It'll be a cool little adventure, but, uh, yeah, let's see, I'm very bundled up because it's like fucking cold outside. Um, I can barely catch a pump because I'm not sweating, first of all, and second of all, you know, we're on lower carbs, but we bundled up today so that we can hopefully get a splitting fucking pump, which I'm excited to do. So let's get into top set number one. And if you guys are watching this, I hope you guys, you know, not just say what you're gonna do this year and not just think about what you're gonna do this year, but you know, actually put it, put it into action. Put it into action, let's just say that. Ooh, that whole motherfucker moved. Um, that's one working set. 
The thing I love about triceps is I connect so fucking well with it, especially with triceps, my back and my legs. Those three body parts, which I think are my best on my body, uh, pause, are my, uh, are my best because I could connect to them and I feel it and I can control it. Um, a lot of things with heavy weight is people think, you know, if it's heavy and you're going down on a squat and you're coming up quick, that it's going to really help you. Um, it'll do something, but the tempo that you do it in and feeling it in the muscle is also very important. Um, if you're doing a squat and you're just going super fast on the way down and coming up, you know, you're just lifting the weight, but you're not actually using the weight. You have to control the set. And I'm a victim of that sometimes. Pause. I'm not, the, I gotta change my wording sometimes, but I'm a victim of that. So just control your weight, make sure you're feeling it, and then progress from there. It's uh, that simple, you know? And then eat right. Eat fucking right and enjoy. But let's kill one more set here. No need for a break. And let's get, let's get this fucking pump today, guys. I'm excited. <clears throat> Fuck, the triceps are already feeling it. We're gonna hop into something that I haven't showed you guys before. Um, we're gonna do some biceps. Workout to record is a little bit awkward, but one of my favorite bicep workouts that I don't see in any gym, and it's sort of a preacher curl in the sense that you're doing it from a higher angle. And I like kind of hanging over on this one, so I put the chair pretty low and I'll turn my body towards one direction, but keep my arms straight, of course. And this one is one of my favorite bicep ones. Let me turn this a little bit for you guys, so you guys can fully see. Um, but I love this one, so let's get right into it. I aim for not, not really a certain amount of reps, just until I can, and then I'll mimic it on my other arm. That motherfucker's killing. You know, usually I'll rest on um, unilateral movements, but on this one, you know, my right arm did nothing on that, so, you know, there's no need to. That is one of my all time, holy shit, my wrist, favorite bicep workouts. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of advice about the new year and giving up on things. Here's a little backstory. Um, I used to do Taekwondo and I got up to the belt that was right before the black belt, which was Bodan belt. And I used to go to events, do demos. I would spar, I'd break the wood they would put up. Right? Y'all wouldn't imagine my ass doing that now, but that was a couple of years ago. And the reason I quit, fucking hilarious story actually. I went in one day to Taekwondo and we were doing like a spar slash demo session and I had to take the biggest shit possible. And their bathroom is, so let's just think of it like this. You walk in, there's the dojo. Right in the dojo, there's a door. Then the bathroom's right there. 
go to the bathroom, take the biggest shit you could ever imagine. My diet back then was hot fries and fucking Arizona iced teas, the dollar ones, dollar joints, y'all know that? Anyways, took the biggest shit possible in there, walked out of the dojo, everyone turned their heads because that smell started pouring out. And one motherfucker who knew, I, who knew I was using the bathroom, he yells out loud, he's like, who blew up the toilet? Oh my God. And everybody in that joint thought it was the funniest joke they ever heard in their life. So I was so embarrassed, never came back, ever. I said, I'm gonna quit just because of that one moment and I never got my black belt. Um, and I do regret that because I think it would have been a pretty cool accomplishment for me. But we let shame and a bag of hot fries ruin that. So. If y'all getting after something this year, don't let you know, other people's opinion on you ever fucking change it. That's probably the last thing you should ever worry about. So uh, let's get into our next workout. I haven't done tricep ropes in the longest times. And it's honestly really the simplest shit that'll get you big when you're bodybuilding. Um, there's so many movements out there now that people have invented. And I think the simple shit while progressing slowly is probably the best shit that's gonna be there for you. Um, you don't need to make it that fancy. You know, there's some movements that help people with injury that I do agree with, but uh, when you're doing general lifting, go for the basic stuff, you know? If you can't, if you're already plateauing on something, change your rep range, you know? There's some simple, you know, solutions to these things, but I think in general, you should just stick to the simple shit, because that's what we're gonna realize one day, that the simple shit was always the best shit, so. We're right into our working set on this. This is a heavy, I like to go heavy on these and do around eight to 12 reps. Um, you'll see that I like to, um, I used to do them like this where I just go straight down, but now I hold it like this and I pull all the way back and all the way out. Um, so we're gonna handle that. I cannot, I'm, a, I'm gonna tell you guys my, my cheat meal uh, when I'm off this diet. Just let me hit this set real quick. Oh, fuck, that was great. And the fucking importance of partial reps, guys. I'm gonna preach this forever. Do your fucking partial reps. Um, after you're done doing your full range of motion, and if you can't go all the way down and you can only go here, hit this. You're still hitting the muscle. You're still hitting the muscle. That's true failure. When you go full, full form, control it, keep it calm. And when you start to fail, you do the fucking half rep joints. Just go. All right, we're gonna have to go to the next exercise after that movement I just pulled. All right, guys, welcome to the next workout. What we're gonna do today is, buck, where's my brain? Brain just went to the shits. Um, we're gonna do side lateral dumbbell raises. And like again, simple as shit, but we're gonna keep the range on the weight here, medium level today. I'm gonna give you guys my indicator as, yo, being a bitch, right? That's, you, sometimes that's me. Low ass weight, middle ass weight, and then we wanna get injured ass weight. So today we're doing middle ass weight. Ugh. Usually in the off season, it's more on the, we get injured today, ass weight, meter, meter. Today we're in the middle meter, meter. And when, just when we're being a bitch, we're in the being a bitch meter, meter. So today we're gonna be doing side laterals. Um, I said that already. Let's get 35s out. You know, I love preaching good form and good shits, but sometimes you just gotta, the forearms are, can y'all see that? Someone asked me the other day in public how I get my forearms like this. You know, I think the number one answer people should always give to that is, you already know. Okay, that's heavy, I can't do that movement, but let's get right into it. Ding! Ding! 
Oh Lord, that was pretty good. Um, I'm gonna be doing more at home videos where I, what I'm eating in the day, especially on this bulk series that I'm gonna start with you guys next week, which I'm gonna be so fucking excited to start. You guys are gonna watch me bulk and we're gonna get fucking huge together. I promise you guys that. You know, not everyone has the same body type, but the shit I'm gonna be saying in that video, we getting big, bigger than a motherfucker, but I'm waiting to also kind of move out because uh, I need my own space mentally, but you know, uh, I think being around those kind of people that support you and they're doing the same shit as you is really good. And I live in here in New York where fitness isn't the biggest kind of thing around here. Um, and that's totally fine with me because I don't ever, I will never want to rely on anyone else. You guys know me already. But um, if I, when I do move out, I don't know if, it's, if I'm going to stay here in New York, most likely. But y'all know in New York, the prices, if you want a box about this big to live in, your ass paying like $3,000 a month. You turn around, your bathroom's there. You turn the other way, your kitchen's in front of you. You turn to your left, your best friend's doing some suspicious activities. And you turn to the right and that's the door out. So, you know, realistically moving out in New York is, you know, not the best of ideas, but sooner or later I need my own space. So, we're gonna jump into one more set of this and then we're gonna hop into our next workout. In terms of pump, this exercise is always giving me a goddamn juicy pump. And I love this one. Uh, you can go to failure so fucking easily on this one. You can just go wait to wait to wait. So we're gonna do one real working set on a specific weight. Then the next set is gonna be that same weight again. And we're gonna drop down, do a little bit of a drop set. Um, utilizing drop sets, I usually use them on biceps, shoulders, and sometimes triceps, sometimes. But um, I don't use them on stuff like squats, um, to me, those are, you know, you do your set with the correct weight, you fail, and then you fail, you're done, right? Um, but on these, I'm going to utilize a drop set today. Um, a lot of people ask about my music taste. Um, the thing about me is I'm so universal, it's insane. Like one minute, I'll be listening to Katy Perry ass, you know, that firework joint. And then I'm going to listen to some System of a Down. If y'all know System of the Down, shout out to you. You, you, you cultured as fuck, right? And then I could be listening to some... Hip hop, right? So, except country. If you listen to country music, I'm gonna turn that shit off. But let's get right into our working set. Uh, we have 110 here and we're just gonna go all out. So let's do it. Let's get right into this fucking drop set right now. Holy shit. It's feeling good. Last one. Come on, come on, fuck. A fucking drop set will make the lightest weight feel so damn heavy. Uh, a lot of people will say, yo, why are you wearing uh, mad baggy ass clothes? Um, realistic answer for you guys is one, I don't like looking at myself while I'm working out. I feel like if I feel like I look like shit, my workout follows that. My workout will be shit. Um, but I feel like I'm in like oversized kind of clothing. The material's thick, which is why I make my clothing thick. 
pause. Um, I just feel so comfortable and I feel ready to go. And then, you know, when we have a pump, it's kind of it's kind of cool to see your body um, and be kind of surprised. But let's get into our next workout. All right, guys, we're gonna finish off with a seated bicep curl. We are on. It's kind of cool. We're on the same level right here. But we're gonna do, you know, a seated bicep curl, which is something I'll usually do, no matter what season we're kind of in. Um, it's just it's a simple ass movement that I really connect with, and my biceps. Um, let me tell you guys my lagging body parts real quick. My biceps are terrible. My shoulders are terrible. My chest is terrible. My rear delts are terrible. Um, yeah. So we have a lot of work to do in the off season. And that's what I love. That's what I love doing. That's why I do this. That's why bodybuilding is so... Okay, we just hit the shits. Hold on. Let me move y'all a little bit. Y'all on my way. That's why bodybuilding is, you know, a very fulfilling sport for me. <clears throat> Fuck it now. Um, I'm feeling really good, guys, and very exhausted. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, my sleeping schedule is so fucking backwards, it's insane. Um, it's right now, it's like one in the morning. Uh, if I'm gonna be honest with you guys, there's a lot of sleepless nights for me um, in the work that I'm doing with my clothing brand, uh, the fitness stuff here, and then outside of you know the fitness realm world kind of stuff also. Um, and it's, you know, sometimes you'll, you'll have to just trust in yourself and believe that you could do something. And for me, I've always been a very doubtful person of my skills and my mindset. And that's what I'm really trying to change. So I'm putting, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket and I don't give a fuck. And we're just gonna do what we can do. Guys, a fucking pump right now is impossible to fucking get with this cold weather and just no fucking carbs, but. <clears throat> I don't know what can I really do there. But like, geez, dude, it is. We are on poverty fucking calories. So that's a wrap for the arm workout.